So it is my 13th month of online business. This is 13 month has just ended. I've just spent the whole month of February in Greece and I'm flying back home tomorrow. This happened just very spontaneously in, in January. An entrepreneur friend of mine, Joe and I just decided, fuck it, we're going to Greece. <laughs> what have I been doing? This month, I have not been here, you know, holidaying and enjoying like a fucking vacation, despite what, you know, it may seem like in pictures and videos and on Instagram and this kind of thing. Because <laughs> like online business is not, it's not pretty. It, it really does seem that way though on online and I know that and I know that a lot of people are going to feel that way so it's important that we share these real moments because what it really has looked like for a month is sure I hit a five-figure month this month right that's great especially because this month I started a new venture or rather you know last month but this was the first full month of new a new business for me that I've started and I've managed to hit a five figure first month right which is incredible right but the reality is that it, it's not you know flying to Greece and you know just walking around and just doing all sorts of touristy things it's me sitting right there in that chair every day for hours and hours and working 10 12 hour days going to the gym in the middle of the day, and that's it. <laughs> Joe and I walked around the city one time. We went and saw one castle. Other than that, it's been that chair, the gym, the butcher, the grocery store. That's it. So... Do you really want the success that you think you want in terms of money? Because I, I, you know why, you know why you clicked on this video, and I know why you're here, right? And that's why I'm gonna tell you about, you know, I'm gonna tell you about online business. I'm gonna tell you about the five figure months, right? But do you do you really want money in the way that you think you want it, or do you want the happiness that is supposed to come with that money? A good enough reason to just feel good about yourself and about your life feel like you're worth something because the universe does not reward vaguely expressed desires i wrote something about this a few months ago when i was really in the shit of online business you know my first in my first year maybe i was seven or eight months in really just the ultimate valley of despair <laughs> completely and utterly broke with no sign of that ever changing but the universe really does not reward vaguely expressed desires you might think you want you know you want to be rich you want to you know you want to make money you want to hit your 10k month right but if you really wanted it, you'd already be there. Like, I'm sorry, but if you really wanted it, you would not be living the life that you're living right now. You would not be watching this video. You would be aligning your entire life to the achievement of that one thing. You wouldn't be sitting around thinking, well, haven't I done enough? Like you wouldn't be trying to do enough. You would be doing everything humanly possible, pulling 14, 15 hour days until you can't sit and think straight. You, you, you're, you'll be up at night unable to sleep because you haven't seen the results you're trying to see. Like that would be your life if you really, really wanted it. So it's a sobering truth sometimes to realize maybe Maybe you don't want it as bad as you think you want it. So then that gives you some options, right? This sort of allows you to step back and think, okay, 
Well, I clearly, I'm, I keep saying I want this thing, but it hasn't happened yet. And does it look like it's going to happen based on the actions that I'm taking? For some of you, that answer might be yes. Because for some of you, you might be fucking, like I said, pulling like 12, 14, 15 hour days. And to those few of you, it, it will come, <laughs> right? It will come like faster than you can imagine. But for the majority of you who maybe say that you want it, you express to people that you want it, maybe you've written it down in your journal that you want this thing. But how much of your actions are aligned with that? <laughs> I know that when I was in, you know, a few months into online business, I was the same. I was saying that I wanted all of these things. And I thought that I was doing enough. <laughs> That's the crazy part. But then I, I realized that it's not, there's no such thing, there's no doing enough. <laughs> like, what the fuck does that even mean? You have to make it completely unreasonable for the universe not to give you that thing. And that's when you get the thing. When you have made it basically impossible for the universe to not dish that out to you because you've reduced that probability of you not having it to zero by completely like making your actions taking like 5x the action, right? That's necessary. That's enough, right? Then you get the thing fast. So if money is your focus, which for some of you, you know, if I asked you what your priority is, you, you might tell me that it's making money. If money is your focus, prove it. Like, don't, don't prove it to me. Like, fuck me and what I think. Prove it to you. Like, prove it to yourself when you look in the fucking mirror. Because it's easy for us to sit and, and talk about, you know, all our delusions of grandeur and what we want to achieve and get a little dopamine kick by talking about it to other people. But when you look at yourself in the fucking mirror, <laughs> like if your actions aren't aligned with that exact result, and if basically 90% of the actions that you're taking in life aren't aligned to that, then, well, you're not going to have it. <laughs> you're just not. So this gives you an opportunity right now at this juncture to think, because I'm not saying, again, you see, I haven't made the case in this video that you even should want to hit 10K per month with an online business. Is that going to be the be all end all of your life? No, <clears throat> you know that, I know that. Now, is it going to solve some problems that you have? Yeah, probably, probably some, but fewer than you think. <laughs> like genuinely fewer than you think. You think, you, you probably think that hitting your, you know, a 10K month or hitting consistent 10K months is going to mean that you're free, that you get girls, that you get respect from people. <laughs> but the reality is that these are all different axes of your life. Like money will solve problems that money can solve. And for a multitude of reasons, we've become convinced that money solves way more problems than it actually does. You're hardly going to get any more, I don't know, attention from girls or even respect from other men by hitting you know, these kind of numbers. You just move the goalposts, right? You go from comparing yourself to people who are making zero to comparing yourself to people who are making $100,000 a month. And then you still feel like a small fish in a big pond. You will keep feeling that way. If you are a competitive masculine man, you're just going to keep feeling that way. You're just going to keep shifting the goalposts. So there is no fulfillment or happiness or something that lies on the other side of your arbitrary number like money goal right so it's not that you're not going to get that whatever respect you think you're going to get you're not going to get as much nearly as much as you think you're going to get for it 
there's a friend of mine in my community who has been doing consistent 10k months for quite a long time now, right? Completely online. And he has openly talked about how he feels like he does not respect himself more for it. And he wishes that, you know, he had spent more time to become a more multifaceted individual, right? Like one great example, in fact, that this friend of mine gave, again, I'm not, I'm not going to be claiming like, you know, validity or not of this, but it's a good example. Okay. So think in the last, you know, two years or so, every young man has seen and heard of Andrew Tate, right? And a huge swath of young men would trade lives with him instantly if they were given the opportunity to. This is just the case, right? I'm not making claims to whether this is right or wrong or good or bad, like whatever. I'm making an observation. This is the case. Millions of young men would trade lives with Andrew Tate like this, okay? Now, think of Vitalik Buterin, if you don't know who Vitalik is. He's the, the creator or founder of Ethereum, right? Maybe a few thousand men would trade lives with Vitalik like this, maybe a few thousand. And then compare that to, you know, Andrew Tate. It's millions of men would want to trade lives with him. Now, what's the difference? They're both billionaires. So it's not the fucking money, right? It's the fact that Tate, for all intents and purposes, is a very multifaceted individual. He can fight <clears throat> extremely well. He's very articulate. He has respect from men because of those things. He's well built. He's got a good physique. He takes care of himself. He dresses well. Right? He looks sharp. He talks sharp. He has, you know, he gets attention from women, which is another thing that men obviously want, right? So, well, you know, he's got love in his life as well, right? Love from, you know, he's got children, he's got family that he keeps really close. He's got great friends. So all of these things, these are different axes of life. So this is a very multifaceted individual. Now, even though Vitalik might have more money, let's say, than Andrew Tate, I don't know if that's the case. I don't know, like, fact check me, whatever. But you get the point. They're both rich, right? But Vitalik, at least by appearances, does not seem, upon, like, you know, not super deep inspection, but at first glance, he doesn't seem to be as multifaceted of an, of an, indiv multifaceted of an individual, wow, as Andrew Tate. So, how much do you just want money? Again, think about this. Like, do you want money for money's sake or do you want money for what's supposed to come with it? Like, don't get confused here and, and think that all, all the good things that you could get from life are behind a wall of cash. I know plenty of guys who are making a lot of money that I don't respect. And the people that I respect also don't respect those people, okay? So even, I mean, some of you will have seen this, you know, business model recently coming up of being a synthesizer. It's kind of like what I'm doing with this YouTube channel where I do stuff and then I talk about the stuff that I do, <laughs> right? I learn stuff, I implement it in my life, and then I teach it hopefully, to people that it can help, right? So in my community, for example, the Winner's Circle, I have courses in there where I talk about how to orient yourself in the world, how to find your purpose as a man, how to create a vision for your life as a man. And then I also talk about online business, getting started in online business, how to go about that, right? And I personally have run an agency and I managed to go to, you know, go from zero to 20K per month in 11 months with that agency. So in there, I also talk about starting an agency. Crazy, right? 
not talking about starting dropshipping. Why? Because I've never done it. <laughs> I'm not going to talk about or attempt to teach shit that I haven't done. I can't tell you how to run a scale to a seven figure business. I've, I've not done it myself, <laughs> right? So I can't talk about that. But what I can talk about is how to get started. The mindset that's required to reach a level of success that most people want to get, you know, 20K per month, 20K in a month is, is more than, you know, most people want to, most people want to hit, you know, 10K, for example, first, right? So there's a huge swath of people that I can potentially help. And so I try to do that. I hope I do it effectively through my community and, you know, through these videos. So being a synthesizer as well, I wouldn't be able to do this if I wasn't a multifaceted individual. I wouldn't have nearly as many things to talk about, right? I've been going to the gym for eight years. I've done martial arts for a number of years, different kinds of martial arts too. I've been in relationships for a really long time as well. Like, you know, about seven years of my life as well. Like monogamous relationships with women, right? So I can talk about that stuff too at least a bit more ethically, right? Or at least with a bit more context and with experience. So I'm not going to sit here and sell you this sort of, you know, pipe dream of like, well, you know, you, and you can be a synthesizer too. And then like buy my course where I teach you how to be it because <laughs> like you need to accumulate your own experiences in life. And I would really argue, I've, I've been playing with this idea for a while of, being a man with no caveats. What I mean by that is there are so many men <clears throat> and influencers that you and I, let's say, have looked up to over the course of our lives. But there's always a there's always some kind of caveat, you know? Like you look up to this guy for a while and then you find out something and you're like, oh, well, you know, I guess I respect him for thing A, but I really don't respect him for thing B. So there's caveats, right? Everybody has caveats. It's not like you can get rid of those completely, but something to, as something to strive to, being a man with no caveats. Well, he's got a lot of money, but oh, he's horrible with women. He treats women really badly. That's a caveat, right? Well, he's got a lot of money and he's got a lot of attention from women, but he's <laughs> he's completely like cringe otherwise you know his personality is just so cringe it's so ugh to be around him he's very narcissistic that's another catch right another caveat he's got a lot of money he's he's ripped but it, you see what i'm saying like you can have all of these different things you can have maybe two good things going for you but it's easy to overvalue something like money and then end up becoming a man who has a whole bunch of caveats because you neglected other areas of development in your life as a man. Like there are so many things that you need to develop. A lot of those things are, are going to have to come through experiences, learning to fight. Like that's crucial as a man. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> learning to fight. Learning to gain control over your emotions, right? Like reading Stoicism is a great way to do that. Practicing Stoic virtues in conversation with people. When people annoy you and someone says something that pisses you off, you know, you take that opportunity to practice Stoicism and to treat that person well and to wish them well and to correct them, not out of spite or out of hate or out of, you know, moral, uppity, high hoarseness, but out of love. So I'm making the case, at least in this video, that you should be aiming to be a multifaceted individual, right? Now, money is part of that. Don't get me wrong. Like, it's part of it. Money solves problems that money can solve, which are normally, you know, towards the bottom of Abraham Maslow's hierarchy of needs. 
but in no way is this is the achievement of money going to give you everything right so going back to the universe not rewarding vaguely expressed desires if you want to see success with something like online business like go mean it like mean it and align all of your actions to it and get that success and then find out that like all of the things that it promised aren't there <laughs> and then carry on with your fucking life and develop other areas of your being right and if and if money is not the urgent thing right now then also be honest with yourself about that and be like you know what it's fine if i don't become a millionaire tomorrow or next year right <clears throat> that's not particularly urgent but i can still do i can still do other things and develop other areas of my character i can still go and learn how to fight i can still enter a relationship with a woman whom i love and who loves me and who we can give that a proper crack and actually try to commit yourself to a person <laughs> like these are all things that you can still do as long as you actually really desire it so there's a great line from epictetus that says wealth is not wealth does not consist of having great possessions i think that's right wealth does not consist of having great possessions but in having few wants so we i've made a video about this before right about mimetic mimetic desire but if you don't recall mimetic desire is basically when you desire something because someone else desires that same thing and you see other people wanting it and so you now want it too right a lot of things get slipped into our desires through this process so really just think about what it is like figure out what it is that you really care about right now like actually and give that your all and if that is an online business then fucking do it like give that your actual fucking everything and you can have it you can have the fucking success that you want if you actually sacrifice for it and you actually give it your all but if you're just going to sit there and vaguely maybe want it maybe not you're not going to fucking have it so if you're honest with yourself and if that's not actually something that you want right now then stop getting tricked by all the fucking influencers and people in the world and all the fucking 18 year olds you're seeing like driving Lamborghinis in Dubai or whatever the fuck like stop getting pulled into wanting that if that's not what you actually care about right now right <laughs> or if that's not actually the life that you can envision for yourself like these are difficult i understand like these are difficult things to figure out especially as a young person right we're all still fucking figuring out hell i'm making this video and i'm still figuring my shit out right i've just spent this month here in greece i've had a very transformative time while i've been here being stressed about success being stressed about money and then not being stressed about it and just proceeding to then fuss about other things <laughs> like this is life but as long as you figure out what it is that you really care about then you can give that your all and you can you can have what you want as long as you specify it like that's really what i want your one takeaway if you can have one fucking takeaway from this video you can have what you want as long as you specify it and then you aim your actions towards it that's it you can fucking have it okay i know that that's that seems like a nebulous and difficult thing to do which is partly why i've created the courses that i've created in the winner circle is to help you figure out all of this shit as a young man because i fucking i know i i've been struggling with this since i was like 17 
And I was trying to figure out what the fuck do I actually care about? <laughs> so that's why I have those courses in there. Consider joining and giving those a go because it'll actually give you clarity. I like have the masculine clarity course, which is supposed to help you plan all of this shit out and align your actions towards it so that you can actually have whatever it is that you fucking want. I'm not, and I'm not going to tell you what you should want because like, that defeats the whole purpose. Then you're just falling prey to mimetic desire again. So I can't tell you what the fuck you want, but hopefully I can help you figure it out, right? Because you can, you can have it. So I think that's all I want to cover in this video. I hope that this has been useful. I hope it hasn't just been a, a, you know, series of existential questions that have made you uncomfortable, but maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need to be made a little bit uncomfortable. Maybe you need to be called out a little bit, but still, I hope this video has helped you. I hope you feel that it has. Like, comment, subscribe, do all of that if you are inclined to do so. And check out my community if you want to. I have things in there to help you figure out your fucking life and what you want. And you can also talk to me all the time. I'm in there. I'm in that community every single day. We have three calls a week where I'm in there doing Q&As, having community calls. It's fantastic. So check that out if you want. And if not, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.